Hey, we're Flick and Joe, and this is our dog, Walter. In 2022, we made the crazy decision to quit our full-time jobs, pack up our lives, and move aboard our blue water sailing boat. We spent many months refitting her and getting her ready for our plans until one day we actually did it. We cast off the lines, we pointed her south, and off we went. We've now sailed over a thousand nautical miles, dodging orcas, yes, actually, and most of the rocks along the way. Join us for the beautiful, quite stressful but endlessly eventful life that is full-time living aboard. Okay, what are we working with here? This is the autopilot Vaughan. It's our beast, beastly autopilot. And it's broken. Which part of it's broken? Exhibit A. Mm. Not a good noise. Not the noise that you want your autopilot making. So we're going to have to take it apart. How? And I did a little bit of googling and you can take it apart and you can replace the bits. There'll be some cogs in there that are totally, um, some plastic or metal cogs that are totally worn away. So we're going to have a go. How much to replace it if we have to replace it? Oh, it's a grand. It's like a grand and a half for each unit. What's an expensive one to not be able to fix? Jack and Walt. And an important one, isn't it, Walt? It's terminal. So the first steps was to take the thing apart, break it down into its component pieces and see if we could spot the broken part. I've never taken apart an autopilot unit before, so it was all totally new to me. But once I get over that initial, oh, for God's sake, something else is broken now, I actually sort of love it because when something breaks, it gives me this sort of golden ticket or free reign to take it apart without any fear of making the problem worse or not being able to put it back together. The autopilot unit was completely broken. I had nothing to lose by trying to fix it. Maybe I could sort some sort of replacement part rather than buy an entirely new unit, which would cost around £2,000 or $2,200. I actually love taking things apart, so I can really understand exactly how they work. So, the autopilot is not very healthy making this horrible grinding noise. It died like an hour, maybe two hours out of Villamora on a the start of a 24 hour passage. So we hand steered the whole way. <laughs> this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Not good. So basically, I think I did a quick Google and I think there's some plastic gears in there. They might be metal, might be plastic, and they're probably toast. I've got nothing to lose by taking this thing apart and seeing if I can fix it. Just noticed on the motor, it's dated 1189. So I think this motor is basically the same age. This autopilot unit is the same age as the boat. It's 1989. Raytheon, like Raymarine Type 2 drive unit, but yeah, if this is the first time it's ever been taken apart for a service. I'm not surprised that I'm amazed it's lasted this long. So there's loads of black gunk that's come out. I think this is the clutch. Because then it pushes against this plate. I think something here 
if I take this clutch off, I think there's a, a wheel here that's failed. Something's failed. Look, as the, the belt looks okay, this belt. And the teeth on the belt look okay. This goes on here, like that, then the yellow washer, then the circlet. This comes off. Wow, look at that, I don't know if you can see that. So. Can you see how the, the teeth here, there are teeth, but they're totally ground away. You see how high the edge is. On the very edge, you can see how big the teeth used to be. And in the middle, you can see there's just nothing there. The teeth are totally gone on these. It's plastic and they're just worn away to nothing. So I think we found the cause of our problem. Now I need to see if I can find replacement parts for that. So by taking it apart, I can now reasonably confidently explain how the autopilot unit works. And hopefully someone out there finds this little segment helpful. Drop us a comment and let us know if you found it useful and if it's helped you repair your own autopilot unit or even just helped you understand your boat a little better. The autopilot unit has a strong 12 volt motor which powers a toothed belt. This is connected to a larger cog which has additional gearing sat beneath a metal clutch plate. The autopilot unit has no drive, no movement of the arm unless the clutch is engaged. The clutch consists of two metal plates that push against one another when instructed to by your autopilot computer. Once the clutch plate engages, it activates additional gears that sit underneath the clutch plate inside the large cog driven by the belt. This then transforms the rotational force of the motor into a linear force via the corkscrew rod that sits inside the autopilot arm. It's actually an amazingly simple piece of kit and it's stood the test of time. The motor on this unit looks to be dated 1989 and Raymarine continue to make these autopilots today. They are renowned for being very reliable and the design has barely changed since its invention. However, there is one key design change, the replacement of the plastic gears with metal gears. And this is the exact fault our autopilot unit has fallen to. I've cleaned up all the nuts and the bronze hardware here that goes in there. This is the reverse side of this clutch plate. I've sanded this with 600 grit just to try and smoothen it off a bit and it looks a lot better. I'm not going to sand it to try and get the scratches out because they're actually quite deep. I would have to sand for a very long time and take a lot of the metal away. So this is one side of this clutch. The other side is this guy, which I've also taken out, cleaned up, so done some light 600 grit sanding, try and get rid of some of the deep stuff and any burrs. But we didn't have a problem with the clutch, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm just sort of servicing it. I'm going to try and take this shaft out next. So I've got the little Allen key bolts out of this and actually I serviced it earlier. So this, I've cleaned this up. This had sort of dirty oil on it. I've re-greased it. I've just used some winch grease basically. And actually I did clean these, but it's already gone brown, but I think that's the it's the residual, it's uh, the, the bearings there, and there was obviously some dirt still in the bearings. I didn't clean them well enough, but... Oh, I didn't clean them perfectly, but it's plenty good enough for the job. This is all cleaned up. Let's get the bolts back in.
At this point, the project got put on hold. I had to wait for our friends to come out and join us for Christmas in Morocco. I'd bought the spare parts I needed from a UK-based website, and our friends had packed them in their suitcases and were ready to bring them out to us. The new autopilot parts have arrived. Woo! This is the old gear that's totally worn away. So you see this line at the top and the line, there's sort of a bulging bit at the, the bottom of this little cog. The bit in the middle is the teeth that have totally worn away. So this gear was no longer gripping, it was just sort of grinding, it was jumping the gears. And this is the replacement part, which is, as you can see, it is metal rather than this one, which is plastic. So it should last a lot longer. This flips upside down and then it, it would spin when this metal clutch plate is engaged, it would spin in unison with these little plastic gears to make the whole thing spin, which controls the autopilot arm. But as you're probably figuring out already, this is gonna be replaced with a metal gear and these would be plastic, the old ones. So the kit that I bought comes with some little bronze gears as well to replace this section. So that's cool. All right, so I've installed my little bronze gears. The teeth on the plastic ones as well are tiny. They've, they've worn away so much compared to these new gears. And now because we've got these new cogs with big teeth and they're in all four corners, it means that this, like, this doesn't wiggle around so much. This clutch plate before, you could wiggle it around quite a lot, which I guess it means things will run smoother. And then this guy, uh, this all needs greasing up before I lock it away, put it all back together. But this guy goes in here, new parts installed. Now I just need to put the whole autopilot unit back together. Within the parts kit, they provide a new gear that slides over the shaft or spindle from the motor. That way, every part of the system has fresh gear teeth, all the same size, that match the new belt that also comes with the kit. It was not easy to get that old gear off. I ended up cutting it off carefully with the Stanley knife. It's a very tight fit and it's also glued to the shaft with Loctite. Getting the new gear on wasn't much easier, but with some gentle persuasion from a hammer, we managed to get it done. This little metal pin I'm holding in my hand, you'll have to take a few of these out when making this repair. They are called roll pins. Don't be afraid of them. All it is, is a piece of metal tightly wound on top of itself to create a little pin. It locks a piece of gearing or a bearing onto the shaft, stopping it spinning as the shaft spins. To remove them, find a drill bit or a bolt of a similar size. Give the pinhole a little spray of penetrating oil or similar. Place the drill bit on the hole and hammer the roll pin out. To put it back in place, you just do the same but in reverse. It's a bit trickier to put back in because you need to make sure all the holes are lined up. It took a long time to get the four small brass gears to line up and slot onto that shaft gear, hence my mini celebration. Next, there is a circlip that holds the clutch plate onto the shaft. 
Unfortunately, I didn't have a circlip tool, but that's okay. I managed to get it off without the specialized tool. You just have to exercise a lot of patience and try to be inventive with whatever tools you do have. I got there eventually. Finally got it on. Okay, I'm quickly stepping in here just to say, don't worry, we're not going to set sail with a yellow jerry can on top of our steering quadrant. We are sat in a marina and this was just a quick video to show you that the autopilot is all back in place and it's working again. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Let us know what you thought and I'm going to leave you with this little snippet of a Moroccan rainbow. Look at that!